Now let's see about uh, global replacement allocation and uh, local replacement allocation. Uh, so this is mainly useful while performing the replacement. So we know what is replacement. Whenever CPU needs to execute a page, then it checks whether that page is present in main memory or not. If the corresponding page is present in the main memory, then CPU executes that page. Suppose if the page is not present in the main memory, then it is called as a page fault. So whenever a page fault occurs, then operating system loads that page from secondary memory to the primary memory, but assumes that main memory is completely full. Then we have to replace one of the page in the main memory in order to store the new page from the secondary memory. So which page we have to replace? So that should be done with the help of various replacement algorithms like FIFO, OPT, LRU. So all those algorithms come under either global replacement allocation or local replacement allocation. First, let's see what is a global replacement allocation. Uh, here, global allocation allows a process to select a frame from the list of all the frames. So even though that frame is allocated to some other process. So let's take an example here. So let we have two process. So this is nothing but process P1. Let process P1 is stored in some five pages, five frames. So one, two, three, four, five frames. So this is process P2. Uh, let process P2 is stored in three frames. So here we have five frames. So five frames are allocated for process P1. Next here we have three frames. So three frames are allocated for process P2. So this is nothing but our main memory. So whenever we use global allocation, then global allocation allows a process to select a frame from list of all the frames even though the frame is allocated to some other process. That means if we use global replacement allocation then process P1 can take a frame from process P2. Likewise process P2 can take a frame from process P1. So let us assume that CPU is executing process P1. And here uh, a page fault occurs so that operating system loads a page from secondary memory to the main memory. So which page we have to replace? Let us assume that here we use global allocation. So in global allocation what will happen? We can store one process page in another process frame also. That means process P1 page can be stored here also in process P2 also. Likewise uh, when executing process P2 an interrupt occurs then if you use this global replacement allocation then we can store process p2 pays in any of the frames so we can store process p2 pays in process p1 frame also so that is nothing but global replacement allocation so let we have some high priority process and low priority process so a high priority process can takes a frame from a low priority process so then what will happen more uh, the number of frames for higher priority process will be increased Whereas the number of frames for lower priority process will be decreased. So the number of page faults for high priority process will be decreases. Why? Because here a high priority process called P1 is getting frames from low priority process called P2. So more number of frames will be allocated for P1. So if there are more number of frames for process P1, then automatically the page fail, the page fault rate will be decreases. But here the problem with global replacement allocation is here the pacing behavior of one process can depends upon the pacing behavior of another process. Why? Because here uh, the pace falls of one process depends upon the pace falls of another process. Why? Because here we are storing one process pace in another process frame. We are storing process P1 pace in process P2 pace or process P1 pace also. Suppose if process P1 pace is stored in process P2 frame then let us assume that it is a lower priority process so because of this lower priority phase then uh, process P1 phase fault rate may be increases so that is the problem here okay the pacing behavior of one process depends upon the pacing behavior of another process why because we can store one process space in another process uh, now let's see about local replacement allocation uh, local allocation allows a process to select a frame from its own allocated frames that means let us assume that cpu is executing process p1 then we have to store process p1 base only in the allocated frames so how many frames are allocated for process p1 so five frames so in those five frames only the corresponding process p1 base will be stored 
Likewise, let us assume that CPU is executing process P2 base, process P2. Then what will happen? Whenever a replacement is needed, then we have to store process P2 base only in the allocated frames of process P2. That means one of these pages, one of these three pages will be replaced. So that is the difference here. So that means here one process can't take frame from other process. So that means the number of frames allocated to a process can't change. So if three frames are allocated for process P2, then in these three frames only the process P2 information can be stored. So we can say that the pacing behavior of one process can't depends upon the other process. Why? Because process P2 pace is not stored in process P1. Okay. So among uh, global replacement allocation and local replacement allocation, global replacement allocation is the best one. It produces better throughput, better output than local replacement allocation. Why? Because in global replacement allocation, what will happen? We can store uh, one process space in another process. So what will happen? A pro uh, the, the number of frames allocated for your process will be increases. So high priority process can take a frame from lower priority process. So high priority process will get more number of frames. So if high priority process gets more number of frames, then automatically the number of pace faults will be decreases. So we can say that global replacement allocation produces better throughput, better output than local replacement allocation. So this is about allocating frames to the process.